everything that there is to know about being in the kitchen. I'm excited, Easter's coming, mm -hmm. which makes for more amazing recipes, desserts, dishes, that I know that Kathleen's gonna have for us on Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. What are you bringing to us today? It is a lemon cheesecake mousse, and it is to die for. It's light, but it has so much flavor, and it just is, with the lemons, it just says springtime. I was just gonna say, if that dessert doesn't scream spring, yeah. say that three times, scream spring. spring. <laughs> Yeah, if that dessert does not scream springtime. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And Easter, I love that. Lemon and mousse. Mm. Oh goodness. So is this an easy one? Oh, or? super easy. Super okay. easy to put together. And you just, you know, put it in the fridge to chill. You can make it the day before. And it just is really, really simple. I can't wait. Ray loves lemon. Yeah. One of his favorite things ever is lemon bars. And so I think that this is going to be something that Ray is going to be saying, when is Grandma Kathleen making the lemon mousse again? Oh, good. So good. that'll be fun. Right on. Well, let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this springtime dessert. Lemon what? Le lemon cheesecake mousse. Lemon cheesecake mousse. I love mousse. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. The things that we're going to need for our lemon cheesecake mousse is one package out of a box of graham crackers, a pinch of salt, the juice of one lemon, or if you don't have a lemon, use two tablespoons of lemon juice. We need 12 ounces of cream cheese and that would be one and a half blocks of eight ounce size, one cup of whipped topping. We need one cup of powdered sugar. And Kelly is awesome because she's got it labeled and in a decanter, I love it. I took the package of graham crackers and I put them in a Ziploc bag I'm going to take some of the air out and we're going to crush it in here. We're going to add our first block of softened cream cheese into the bowl and we're going to add half of the second block to the bowl. Now we're going to take our hand mixer and we're going to Mix the block and a half of cream cheese until it's light and fluffy. One cup of powdered sugar is added to the bowl. We're going to add our two tablespoons of lemon juice. And if you really like lemon, go ahead, give it another squirt. It'll be okay. We're gonna add a pinch of salt. Now we're going to beat it until it's all combined. Start out slow. You don't want the powdered sugar to go everywhere. We're gonna add a cup of our whipped topping. We're gonna incorporate our cup of whipped topping. I'm gonna make a little parfait for Kelly and I to taste test. It's nice, you could do this in a wine glass to make it more festive. We're gonna 
add our whip topping. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Kind of swirl it around. If you had a piping bag, you could pipe it on. And then we're going to take some of our reserved graham cracker and just give it a sprinkle. Our lemon cheesecake mousse has been in the fridge for about two hours, and that's perfect. Or, like I said before, you could even let it go overnight. You could make this the day before. There you have it. If you had a lemon slice, you could put lemon slice on the edge of the bowl would be nice. You can make this fancy. You can make it rustic. Whatever you need it to be, it's only in your imagination. And you can make it what you need. Let's taste it, Kelly. Alrighty, so this dessert was quick and easy. Absolutely. And it looks so stinking cute. I gotta tell you, I love the way it looks in these cups. Mm -hmm. What a fun way to serve this. I love it. You could even buy the cute little plastic cups at the Dollar Tree. And if you're going to like a... A baby shower. A baby shower or a barbecue where it's a potluck. Mm -hmm. I tell you, if you did this and put those in those disposable cups, you would be the hit of the party oh, because yeah. these are just so stinking cute, so quick and easy to make, and I don't know how it tastes yet. I put my finger in it earlier a little bit, <laughs> but I'm a little excited to try this one now because it's lemon and it's cheesecake, and I like cheesecake, so. Now, I went for what the recipe called for, okay. which was the two tablespoons of lemon juice. Uh -huh. I, myself, would have probably put another two in. I, I like to... Uh, I like that lemon, yeah. And when I did stick my finger in the cream cheese mousse, mousse uh, it wasn't as lemony as I would have liked it to yeah. be. It had a hint of lemon. It wasn't strong. That was the only disappointing part, was like I really wanted to taste that lemon. And you could taste a slight bit of lemon, but not a lot. So I agree with you. I probably yeah. would have gone with four tablespoons yeah. Yeah. if you want more of a lemon. I didn't know though for the kids if they right. Liked, you know. I think Allie will like it. She's not even gonna really know that there's any lemon in it, and she loves cheesecake. So I think she'll just love eating it out of this. Good. Good. All right. Well, let's try this with the graham cracker on top. All right. Oh, it looks yellow. Mm-hmm. I feel like now that it's cold, I taste the lemon more. A little bit more. I do. Once it got cold, I feel like I can taste the lemon a lot more than I did mm -hmm. when it was at room temperature. Mm -hmm. And I like digging down for the crust on the bottom. Mm -hmm. mm. If you wanted to, you could even take like a chocolate cookie and crush it up if you wanted a chocolate crust. Mm -mm -mm. Man. But that is really stinking good. It is light. It's not heavy at all. It's not overly sweet. Mm -mm. Wow, that's a good one. I like that good. one. Good. I like that one a lot. Okay. I will tell you though that the recipe that we made, it made this parfait bowl and this cup. And so I would say that if you were going to a barbecue or something, I would definitely probably double the recipe. Yeah, yeah because for a crowd. Um, yeah, because it's good for like a dinner dessert for one night for your family. If, you, if it's something that you want to last for a couple days, again, I would double it. But if you want it just for the night, this is going to be gone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to take their yeah. spoonfuls and it's going to be empty. Yeah, but they're going to enjoy it. So you can watch TV and like. Mm, share. Right? Yeah. Amazing. Good. Amazing, amazing. Another fantastically delicious dessert. Thank, Thank you. you so oh, much. Oh, no, sweetie. Thank you. I love coming. Oh, we had Instapot here, huh? <laughs> now it's working. Fine. <laughs> now you decide the word. <laughs> And this is dessert tonight for us. Yes. Well, let's try it cold with the graham crap crapper. 
the graham cracker <laughs> topping. <laughs> Kathleen, you want some graham cracker <laughs> topping? Yeah, give me, give me a double. <laughs> give me a double shot. <laughs> Goodness, we're gonna have some good bloopers this series. Uh oh, uh, unintentional ones. Well, everybody, that is all we have for you for today for this episode of In the Kitchen with Kathleen and this amazing lemon mousse cheesecake. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you again for another amazing day. I Thank love you. you. I always look forward to these days. Yes, I do too. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 3,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help this series to grow and it helps YouTube to notice In the Kitchen with Kathleen just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, we hope you have a fantastic day, happy cooking in your kitchen, and bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you too, sweetie.